Okay, hello and welcome. Uh, bridge Fundamentals. I'm going to play 10 Hands of Bridge online and comment strictly on the fundamentals. This may be helpful if you're just learning this game or just trying to get a little better handle on what's going on. Definitely for new players. Uh, if you're at that level, this book would probably be helpful. Uh, it's very helpful for me. Uh, otherwise, um, let me give you my very, very, very quick bridge lesson. And uh, this is points ranges. So 6 to 10, 10 to 12, 11, 12, 12 to 15, 13 to 15. You're looking for points ranges. You're trying to find a game. Uh, I assume you know what game is in bridge. Find out what your partner's points range is by their bidding. Add your points and adjust for shape once you find a fit. Uh, and if you have enough game for a game, go for it. Otherwise, as I like to say, get in there and compete. I will refer back to this as appropriate. Let's jump on in and see if we can find ourselves a table. Somebody playing standard American yellow card. That's what I will be playing. Uh, this looks about right. And I have six high card points. So I will be passing. Obviously, we know we need 12 or better to open under Sacy. Well, let's see. We have a two heart preemptive bid in the south and a three diamond um, overcall and we have three three hearts supporting do i want to support the diamonds uh six seven total points in diamonds and they're looking about 18 this is pushy this is pushy. This is this is uh, assuming my partner's got somewhere better than twelve. In other words, north didn't open, so call it ten points. South maybe ten points, twenty total. Right, I've got six. Partners looking like a good diamond hand. Uh, I was going to get partner fourteen. Could have more. Could have 16, we'll see. This could be a bit overdone here. Uh, a sacrifice bid. So we might be trying to steal this bid, getting imps by losing the bid. So a stealing bid, of course, is getting the imps by losing the bid, but um, making sure that the opponents don't get as much as they otherwise would have. We'll see. Five diamonds, a little bit aggressive. All righty. And what do you think partner should throw away here? I see one spade loser. I'm thinking the queen of clubs myself, yeah. And then we will trump that, and I assume we will try a diamond finesse, though south has the weaker set of points. But it doesn't work without the diamond finesse. In fact, it's not going to work anyway, because we have a spade loser. All right, down one, down two. Five diamonds played. See what happens next. Mm -hmm. Still a spade, uh, club, and six, seven, eight, diamonds played, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, that's it, the rest of the tricks are ours, five diamonds down two, not vulnerable, a hundred points, not vulnerable or doubled, a hundred points, so... Would North South have gotten more than 100 points? Certainly for two hearts, they would have gotten 110. 
So we'll see. And we so far have seven imps. We'll see if that changes. Yeah, it comes down a little bit. So, so far might have been a good sacrifice bid. Uh, 12 high card points and five spades, which I can open. We'll keep refreshing that a few times. Yeah, looks like North-South had good, good hearts there, really. So I think we will continue to earn imps. We'll be in good standing on hand number 49. All right, sacrifice bid, the quintessential. And what do we have showing here? Okay, so a two club bid over one heart, one spade, one spade's 12 or more. Two club bid should be more than 10 points, 11 plus. Uh, so I wanna name a second suit or rebid my spades if I have six of them. Let's name a second suit. This is just two levels, so this should be sh should be telling partner 12 to 15 point range. Partner goes three, no trump. Partner has opening points. So partner certainly had more than 10. All right, and this is also assuming partner has diamond stopped. Well, let's see, partner. What have you got? Opening points and clubs and diamonds. Nice. Opening points and clubs and diamonds and a couple of hearts. I think that is pretty much 16 high card points to my minimum so partner stopped at game and so did i 16 and 15 is 31. um there was maybe a little bit of room to look for slam but um chances are no really you need 32 to look for slam i was showing 12 to 15 with my two hearts bid so 12 plus 15 right actually is only 27 right that's partners 12 that's partners 15. even if i had 15 to 15 it's only 30. so what i'm trying to say is partner had a really good hand but didn't look for slam because my two hearts bid did not indicate anything other than a minimum opening hand Looks like the three no trump will be no trouble. What do we got here? Five, six, seven, eight, and nine with the queen of hearts. So that's a no-brainer. Maybe some extra chicks in there. I wasn't watching what was going on with the clubs. Probably nothing. Okay, so this is a good lesson in don't get excited just because you have an outstanding hand and your partner opens. All right, I'll take that back. Get excited if you have an outstanding hand and your partner opens, but watch carefully what your partner is telling you. All right, don't go off on your own. We'll see. Maybe somebody did bid a six in here. Uh, I would be surprised. Already we're off two tricks, three tricks. And, okay, and that's it. So three hearts, three no trump is pretty much what everybody's making. Three no trump plus one, good defense from our opponents. But so far, nobody's trying for six. So this is a wash. We didn't gain imps, we didn't lose imps, and uh, that's good. You know, that's like holding your position in the race, and then when your moment comes, be sure to take advantage of it. <laughs> anyway, let's see what we have now. Six, seven high card points and 10, 11 high, total high card points and a seven card diamond suit. So we don't have 12, but we are in fourth chair. Uh, three plus diamonds, 11, 21 high card points. Uh, what do we think two diamonds tells us? Well, I'm going to bid two diamonds. 
So, uh, God only knows what partner's going to make of this. This could be considered Michael's, but I think that's over a major. Um, we're going to go go ahead and go three diamonds here. And we got ourselves a great partner, partner. Of course, I'm really not saying much. Um, hmm, do we want to lose the king? So, seven, eight, nine, one, two. And we'll try to set up the two tricks. Why not? Yeah, very nice. And. Oh my goodness. Seven, eight, nine, four tricks over there on that side. Four di three diamonds over here on this side. Two diamonds over here on this side. There we go. One diamond left on that side. And we will take that. Oh, we, will, we won't take that. And we'll try for this king of clubs, which we got. Amazing. Made five diamonds. Kind of lucky, I think. Wow. All right. So three hands down, and you can see we're still making good imps on that sacrifice bid. We're even on the 50. I got a little bit of three imps so far for getting in there and competing. What do we got here? 10 high card points. Um, yeah, balance distribution, nothing to say. We're going to pass that. Okay, passed out. All right. Say love you. Uh, two high card points. Not the most thrilling hand I've ever been dealt. Two jacks. One club and a double. So asking me to bid, which I must bid unless North responds. North has responded and I do not have opening uh, responsive points. So I'm gonna pass. Partner's showing 12 or more. Uh, if, if North had passed, I would have to respond otherwise then I can go ahead and, if North res North responded, which North did, I can go ahead and pass. So we've got South with points and West with points. Well, which is good for West because anytime South tries to lead a club, lead us a card, West might have something to overtake it. I've got two, three high card points, but we are not vulnerable. And we are bidding a major suit. Let's get in there and compete. We might go down one, we might, like I say, uh, West being to the right of South puts West in very good shape. All right, we've got ourselves lots of hearts. Got ourselves a club stopped, uh, one club loser, three diamond losers, and two spade losers. It looks bad. Uh, one, two, 
three, four, five, six losers. Okay, well, it'll be a minor miracle if we make this contract. Uh, we might be able to work up some diamonds. Let's see how that goes. Alrighty. Oh, very nice. Okay. Nice split on the hearts. Now we're going to try to set up some diamonds. This will be a very desperate attempt. I expect a spade coming out right about now. We're going to go ahead and make a loser. Uh, the Jack and the Queen are still out there. Could conceivably set up that nine. Excuse me, the Jack and the King are still out there. Another diamond loser. And still one more diamond loser. Yes, and the rest of the tricks should be ours. That's it, down one. Nice try, though. Nice try. Let's see if it's a good sacrifice bid. Could be, could be. Yep, down one. And do we, what do we get for imps here? Nothing? Do they get imps? Let's see, down one, not vulnerable, 50 points. Certainly two or three clubs would have been more than 50 points. And so far they're getting the imps. We'll have to keep an eye on that. See how that what plays out. I have uh, three high card points. All right, let's refresh that again. Other tables. There's somebody made their three clubs contract. So it definitely looks like they had three clubs in the cards. Yep, and looks like we uh, really didn't even have two hearts in the cards. Oof, we should be pretty lucky, huh? All right, let's focus on this hand. Ah, uh, where are we? The pass. I guess in some sense this is a good sacrifice bid, letting them make a contract. Gives them three imps. Whereas going down one on the three hearts gives uh, them 1.5 imps. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, four hearts, okay. All right, look at there, now we're back to even. Anyway, where are we? One club, one heart, one spade, four hearts. So North has got some strong hearts. South has some clubs and spades. I'll be leading. Um... I guess the best bet here is to lead the unbid suit. And fourth from the top. I'm going to turn down the sound of the cards a little bit. There we go. And, okay, four hearts out. So now let's just play. Uh, the king took it, so West does not have the ace of diamonds. Uh, clearly, North has the West of diamonds. North has the ace of diamonds, excuse me. Now we're getting a, quote, cross rough. And uh, that's five hearts played. That's nine hearts played. Looks like the last of North's hearts and my hearts. Four more hearts in the North? My goodness. Uh, I think this contract was under bid, to be honest. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. Let's see if we get some other tables in here. Yeah. Everybody's doing the same. Nobody bid the slam, though. No? Huh. Maybe somebody will come along and bid the slam. If somebody does come along and bid the slam, we'll get some M's. So far, no so. 
Uh, let's see, 6 and 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Two majors balanced a distribution and a two spade preemptive. Ah, this sucks. Um, well, I I don't have a bid, right? I mean, I could double, but if your partner comes out with diamonds, what am I going to do? So I'm going to pass a 16-point hand. Comments, please. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll go to four spades. Nope. Yep, West has those diamonds anyway. So West is showing 10 points, five or six diamonds. I've got 16. Ooh. Should we go three no Trump? I like it. I'll try it. I'll try it. I mean, three no Trump is game, right? I've got 16 high card points and diamonds covered. Oof. Wes is wondering, what am I doing? Wes is going to trust me. Good partner. Hopefully a good player here. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and some hearts to set up. Or clubs to set up. And, oh, look at there. Okay, that's even better. Uh, let's see. We're going to go here. Pull some of these. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's start working those clubs. I need to make sure I leave myself transportation back to my hand. Oh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, we can. Oof. Let's say we just make our tricks, right? Yeah, sorry, I'm talking with my finger on my mouth. Yeah, and a hand like this with the wacky distribution, not always good to mess around too much. We know there's a wacky distribution because we know north opened preemptively. Uh, that's seven, eight, nine, yeah, we'll take that, and we'll make our contract. And, okay, uh, the queen, jack, ten, nine's good. Oh, my goodness. All righty, let's see if we end up with another... Club trick, I doubt it. I haven't been counting spades of you. No, nope. doesn't matter. Okay, we did good. Three no Trump. Bid and made. <laughs> well, what happened back here? Did somebody bid a slam? No. no. Oh, yeah, somebody did. There you go. So now the rest of us got a minor amount of imps. And somebody got 10. Good job. Okay, well, I'm pleased with my no Trump bid. I mean, logically, that was the thing to do. Uh, what did South, what did my partner do that with nine and a void in diamonds? So that was definitely a sacrifice, but a good one. Six. Mm -hmm. Well, we're playing standard American, and we can't bid two clubs because we're telling partner we have 10 or more points. So we have to bid, well, a no trump, really. I suppose we could redouble that double, but I don't know what that's telling partner. 
Okay. Three diamonds. Well, we've got diamonds. We don't have hearts, but we do have diamonds. So partner has at worst a five, four uh, hand, five hearts and four diamonds, right? So we can count four diamonds. So what are we looking at here? Six, um, seven, eight, nine high card points. Um... We're going to go ahead and make the sacrifice bid. Well, it's a sacrifice. Partner doesn't really, really see this as a sacrifice bid. Partner's probably seeing more strength in there than I should be showing. Now I'm going to pass. So nine, you know, for us to go to five diamonds, we really need, what, 27, 28 total points. And I'm not seeing that, partner... Partner's going to go for it anyway. Good on partner. This is, this is, okay. Now we're getting doubled. All right. Well, nine and partner's probably got 14 to 16. We'll see. Maybe, maybe I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, partner's got a pretty good hand. Um, hmm. Can play some of those hearts on the diamonds. Uh, there's one loser. Yeah, two losers. Now we can throw a loser spade away on the king of hearts. And what? Win the rest? I don't think so. Well, let's see. Okay, this is good. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Gonna chump a spade. Gonna chump a cross ruffle club. Okay, what's going on with those hearts? Going to lose a heart? Wow. What happened there? Queen, we finessed the queen. That's what we did. <laughs> oh, that was some tricky. That one, there's the queen. That was some tricky right there. Okay, now, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm just, I'm just babbling at this point. You just watch. This is a master in action, huh? Okay, uh, what do we got here? Two diamonds down. Um, six and uh, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. And, and all the clubs are good, though. <laughs> Five diamonds doubled. And made, yes, yes. Oh my god. Alrighty. Um Wow. Alright, I'm not gonna gloat. This this was a well done this is definitely a well done partner. Yeah. This is the choice. This is this person's um uh, well, this person's good, huh? Yeah. One of the few people that deserve that advanced <coughs> excuse me, that deserve that advanced handle on BBO. Most people put it on there and they're just making stuff up. Okay, alrighty, let's focus. Uh, where am I? 9, 10, 13, and 6. Uh, <clears throat> 19 high card points. Um, two clubs, I guess, right? Oh my goodness. Alright, this is this is this is twice this has happened where I've had to overbid the minor suit from the left hand opener. Right right hand opener. Okay. Anyway. Where are we? Two hearts pass two, two no no spades. Pfft. 
God, 19 points, and they've got the rest of the tricks. I'm going to pass this out. And instead of inviting them to game, well, I guess they can't make it, but what's my second big going to be, right? Don't have a 5-4 hand, don't have a 6-card suit. What's my second big going to be? i suck it up. Maybe don't go on. Yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do? Sometimes it's just, quote, not in the cards. All right. We might be able to set these people, right? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six tricks. <laughs> or we'll give or take. We'll see, right? So that's a nine, right? So nine, eight, seven. I'm probably going to get a high-low here, right? High-low. So nine, two is high-low. Plus it's obvious here. These are all the rest. Now, um, so partner can rough this, right? So let's let partner rough this. South can rough it too. And partner can over rough it. So we're holding on to the king because we don't want to set up any of their clubs. And if south roughs, west over roughs. If south doesn't rough, west just roughs. Oh, let's see. Do we get at the over rough? Do we get the over rough? Yes. Nice. So we steal a seven. Now, doesn't matter what partner leads. I've got more tricks. Yes. I can take that. Yep. Now, do we want partner to over rough, have to over rough? No. So now we're going to throw the king. All right, south can take this. West can overtake it. And south's going to have to throw that king of hearts, spades away. King of hearts, whatever. Does that set up my jack? Does it? It does, doesn't it? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Um, did partner throw a heart on that last one? I don't even remember. And we take another round of hearts. And we throw the club. These poor guys. Maybe I should have doubled them. Oh, my goodness. All right. Getting rid of a diamond loser. I'll have to try this diamond anyway. Oh, my goodness. Poor guy. I think we almost made their bid for them. Yeah, so this is what happens when you have an outstanding hand and you keep your mouth shut, All right? You get the imps. There you go. So that's the way that works. Uh, didn't push them, just let it happen. Seven, eight, and that's 11 high card points. We will be passing. Uh, let's go ahead and just clear this chat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. And we have time when, for one more hand. Well, this has been an outstanding, outstanding round. Uh, let's see what do we got here. Two club over call. So over call meaning partner's range is 10 or more, even as low as eight, really. Uh, on an overcall. So an overcall is not an opening bid. Uh, we have 11 points. Let's go to, we are vulnerable. We have heart stopped. Let's go to four clubs. Uh, might not have said anything without having those hearts. All right? Partner's showing about five clubs. I've got three, should be showing five clubs. I've got three, four hearts. 
four hearts and I what did I say 11 high card points 12 and 8 is 20 so they don't have a game so we're gonna try doubling it this may or may this may or may not be our swan song here we will see if this works out but theoretically they're going down a couple of tricks here Ooh. oh my goodness well, they have avoiding clubs. I've got... I've got one, two, maybe three tricks. We'll see. We will see. Uh, I can understand... So the three is, is a strange bid. The three hearts is a strange bid, right? It's showing a lot more points then you know right we've got six seven maybe eight with the length nine ten eleven hey, i'm a little leery on that one this is getting my king finessed here that was bad news So we'll be lucky to set this one. We will be lucky to set this one. We really did want those club tricks. So, hmm. So, yeah, that's the thing. I might count 20 high card points on our partnership, but counting that distribution is a lot rougher. And I supported the clubs, so they know I've got clubs. Yep. Okay, well, there's the bad news for South. So, the Kings, and the bad news for me, too. Ten King. Did the Nine come out? I don't remember. The Nine of Hearts, I might be losing that Eight to the Nine. So where have I where where does that leave me? One, two, three tricks. Yeah, not setting them. Oh. Hmm. So. Yeah, see, I didn't want to rough and have South over rough it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can't even count. Oh, boy. No, oh, this is tough. Seven. Eight. Oh, it's killing me. This is killing me. Bad double. Bad double. Nice try. Bad double. Yep. And we take that. Well, we lose that. Alrighty, we lose that. Yep. And there's nothing we can do here. I mean, they're going to make 10 tricks. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, they're going to... I can't make... Um, yeah. I can't... They're going to make their 10. There's their 10 right there. Yep. Ah, uh, such a shame. Such a shame. All right. Well, we can give it to them. And 7.6 for us. And back we go. Oh, her host is left. Huh? Host has got mad at me. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Well, what did host overcall with? Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, host had a great overcall. Perfectly valid overcall. Um, just didn't expect that void in spades, uh, and clubs over there. That was, that was rough. Um, 
I think one more. Yeah, see that makes. I think one more, one more, one club, one club. Instead of a four-zero split, a three-one split, and uh, that double might have uh, gotten uh, some gotten us some imps there. Yeah, and even then it was a very see. There's a four hearts doubled down three, right? Down one. So we would have we would have done pretty good if they had not played so well. But they did. Congratulations to them. Alrighty. Well, you've seen some outstanding bridge here today. Uh, I played the math on this one. It was a little bit too close to double. Yeah. Uh, they still would have got three imps, but they would not have gotten eight imps. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. I uh, hope this was helpful. Uh, there was some outstanding bridge there uh, up until the end. And uh, even at the end, yeah, they say don't double if you can only set them by one. Yeah, I was for every club that that was uh, evenly distributed, uh, we were going to set them. And there was no clubs evenly distributed, so we did not set them. So, so it goes. Uh, all right, take care. Hope this one, again, hope this was helpful and uh, a good quick one today. Bye-bye.